Okay, I want to show you guys how you can do a, a baby bass pattern. Uh, you know, similar to something like I've already completed here. I've got a couple different patterns, but um, I'll go ahead and show you how you do the basic paint job. And the first step we want to do is go ahead and get a little bit of uh, light color down low. And for that, what I'm going to do is use a little bit of our yellow and a little bit of the watermelon color. I'm just going to mix equal parts. And what I'm going to do is just one drop of each color. And when I mix those together, it's going to look like an ugly green. But you'll see, once we get it on the bait, it's going to make a nice green gold color that I'm looking for. So. One drop each of yellow and watermelon. Dry my brush off. I'm just going to use the end of the paintbrush here to blend those together real quick. Okay. For this, I'm just going to use my wide brush. Make sure all that moisture is out of there. And it's not going to take a lot of paint. You don't want a lot of paint. It's almost going to be what we call a dry brush technique. And because it's better to start with too little paint than, than too much. You don't want a whole lot of paint. So I'm just going to run that down the flank right here. carry it a little bit beyond halfway. And obviously I'm only going to paint one half of this bait just for demonstration purposes, but obviously you're going to do this to both sides. And a little bit more back here. And if you put too much on there, just, just keep working the paint. The more you work it around, the better it lays down and the easier it is to feather out. So that's step one, get a good base color there. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint the back, which we're going to use the watermelon and get all the water out of there. So use the watermelon paint, we're going to come over the back and, and run that down and blend it into the, to the gold we've already painted. I want kind of a dark color on the back here and as far as a tip you can't get it usually in one pass so I'm going to have to build this up in a couple of coats. It usually takes two coats. It might take three depending on the look you want. I'm just kind of working kind of quick here and I'm going to go ahead and set that up with a dryer and I'm going to come back with a second coat. What you can do to keep from having a nice sharp line, a good way to transition, is just take, just say like the corner of the brush, with not a lot of paint, just kind of with the paint you already have on there, and just, just kind of swirl it and work it, and just break up that line a little bit, get a little bit more of a natural look. And 
I'm going to want one more coat on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dry that, and then I'm going to show you how you can do the, uh, the lateral line, the pattern down the side. We'll do that first before we do that final step. So let me go ahead and dry this. Looking at some of the ones I've already made, um, this one's got kind of a bold pattern. If that's what you're into, you can use just a fine brush and some black and put your pattern on. If you want kind of more of a natural look, kind of a, a pattern like this, which is what I want to do, I'm going to take the, the medium brush and just quick and dirty, I want a drop of watermelon and then a drop of black not so much black all right mix those together that's just going to darken up that watermelon i don't want it bold black i just want to lighten it up with that watermelon so it's not so bold actually i'm going to use my white brush Not too much paint, and what you want to do is take your brush perpendicular to the bait and just kind of with a stippling pattern, just run that brush up and down that side of that bait and put your pattern on. Just however you want to do it. Kind of random. really starting to come together now so uh, final step I'm going to put one more coat over the top just to darken that up a little bit you could use straight watermelon or if you wanted you could use that that darker color like we just did for the pattern on the side and that's what I want to do and I want to keep that a little bit higher I don't want to come down so far with it. That looks pretty good. So, there's a good bass pattern. Obviously, you do both sides, and uh, once you put the eyes on it and dip it in the clear salt, you'll wind up with something that looks just like this. Okay, so we've got our our finished bait here. We got it all painted up and the next step is I'm going to go ahead and put some eyes on it and I've got some some gold eyes that I think will look good with this and to put them on there all we're going to use is a little bit of the clear color coat. We're just going to use it just like glue and a little bit in the eye socket there. side okay now the next step after this we're going to dip it in our clear saw that's going to seal it seal all that color coat paint in there but before we do that we need to make sure the eyes are good and dry so we got to give it a good 10 or 15 minutes to get all the moisture out before we dip it okay We've got our eyes on there and putting the eyes on there really really bring that bait to life paints dry the clear color coat we used is good and dry we don't want any moisture in there because we're going to go into this hot plastisol this is our clear saw and that's gonna it's gonna seal all that paint in there which we really need to do plus it's gonna add a nice shine and a great 3d look and 
you think it looks good now, you wait till we dip it. So I just have a, uh, a straight shank hook here that I'm going to run down into the tail. You can use a piece of wire or take a paper clip, whatever you have available. And that's what I'm going to use to hang it also after I dip it. So there's our bait straight into the plastisol. Make sure we cover the paint. I don't want to get the tail in there. And just bring it up. Let that drip a little bit. And it is hot, so be careful. And then just hang it up, and let it cool. About five or ten minutes. Should do the trick. Okay, our bait has had sufficient time to cool, and that clear salt is nice and cool. So go ahead and take our bait. And this drip that forms on the nose, we're just going to trim it off with a pair of scissors. And he's finished. So the clear coat water-based paint sealed with Clearasol. This is what we started with and that's what we finished with.